Yeah. Hey, Brent, can you just start out? Can you take us through the at-bat and the, the double? Uh, put you guys ahead. Just take us through, through the at-bat. Yeah. Uh, I knew the guy had a good sinker and a uh, sweeper, so I wanted to get something up in the zone. And uh, I took the first ball and was going to be pretty aggressive the next pitch. Just wanted it up in the zone, and I got it. The, where you're at now, as opposed to last year, when you walk up to the plate in that place, that kind of situation, how much more confident are you in yourself that you're going to perhaps deliver the key like that? Yeah, I mean, when you're producing and um, you're putting swing, or good swings on baseballs and, and finding barrels, you know, this game can be a lot more fun and uh, confidence can also raise with that. And So it's a, I'm in a good spot. The ball you hit, did you think it was going to stay fair? Um... <laughs> I did. Typically, I don't normally get those to be fair. They normally go foul on me, but uh, it was fun to have one fair night. Did you see it bounce out? Did you know what no, happened I right didn't. away? No, I was, I, I was just With trying the to leg it out for a triple. Strange things that have happened recently. Was anything going through your mind You know, on what? No, what, I, what I mean, I saw Hilliard get held up, and I was kind of confused, and then uh, got the news that it bounced out of play. So. Uh, Buddy talked a lot to us moments ago about how proud he is of you that you put in so much work in the off season and you've accepted the fact you wanted to change some things and now it's bearing fruit. How proud are you that you did all that and now you're it's paying off for you? Yeah, I mean I worked really hard this off season to uh, make the swing changes I wanted and um, you know to see him um, you know, help me produce and it, it's very exciting and I just want to keep going. Kyle always plays the game with a lot of emotion, but he yeah. mentioned that these full stadiums add another level of excitement. Does that happen? Do you, does it elevate your heart rate too, playing in front of sold out crowds, or is it just another? Thing? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, you kind of not let it get too big on you, so you kind of have to like trick yourself. You know, it's not this big of a deal, but you know, whenever you get a sold out crowd and you, you hear the roars of the crowd, it, it's always exciting. So there's no TV here, but um, if you were, uh, if, if Kyle Freeland were a dog, what kind of dog would it be? Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> Black German Shepherd. Okay. That's what you have, Benny. I think his dog's name's Benny. Well, we heard about what you said earlier, yeah. but what, what can you say? fired me up too. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thanks. Thanks.